Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Weekly News Roundup. I'm Mungula Yimchim, the news presenter for today. Serious events have rocked the nations from political to social economic issues. Many events have made it to the top charts of the news. Bringing you today are the top stories from the local dailies, Magdalene Post and Morning Express. Before we get into the details of the news, let's look into the news that made the headlines. Government surrenders come rehabilitations policy. Media and Netherlands sensitize of issues of repatriations. Rupees 647 crore element project for Netherlands. Netherlands prisons in translations for punitive to correctional. Assam records highest crime rate against women in 2021, Netherlands lowest. Crime against women in Netherlands increased by 38.46% in 2021, NCRB. Nagaland MP Lok Sabha calls on officers to give their best for people. Zero tolerance against corruption. Well, those were the headlines, now news in details. Government surrenders come rehabilitation policy. The state government's rehabilitation policy of 2016 is quite elaborate regarding surrender and rehabilitation of militants and surgeons to make it more attractive for a person who wished to join the mainstream. However, it was not known whether the state government has officially implanted the policy or kept it in a cold storage. Media and Nagaland sensitize on issues of repatriations. Following the series of group discussions on the issues of repatriations with the media crops, Anthropologist Dolly Kikon addressed the essential role the media plays in pursuing more public awareness. Nagaland MP Lok Sabha calls on officers to give their best for people. A report reported stated the MP Lok Sabha Tokiho Yatomi mentioned that since 2018, Prime Minister Nirandra Modi has entrusted all the MPs to be the chairman of the Shah for various developmental activities. He requested all the departments to coordinate with one another for centrally sponsored schemes and urged them to work fairly and give their best for their people. The crime against women in Magdalen increased by 38.46% in 2021. Despite having the lowest number among the states in India, Magdalen saw a 38.46 jump in crime rate against women in 2021 as per the latest NCRB report. Detailed analysis of the report informed that in Nagaland, the crimes were mostly under the IPC, such as assault on women, with intent to outrage her modesty, kidnapping and abduction, rape, cruelty by husband or his relatives. Zero tolerance against corruption, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday said that the corruptions will be dealt seriously. Modi said corruptions was the biggest hurdle in the development and interests of the youth. Stressing on the need of the development to be speeded up to take India to the level of developed country status, he emphasized that wherever the BJP governments are ruling in the states, development is on the fast track. That's all for today's weekly news roundup. Stay tuned for more news updates.